you say yes to everything say yes to everything try that for you when you're when you're lacking business say yes to everything and then you're going to be so overwhelmed and broken down that one one of two things is going to happen you're going to get out of this business or you're going to find a solution to start delegating and not caring that somebody is doing the job that you were doing at a hundred percent or you thought you were doing at a hundred percent Because the management and transparency is what's very important. So once you submit a referral, you're going to have your own home advantage account, and it's going to tell you where everything sits. So if you have 10 referrals that you've sent into the network, it's going to give you all 10 referrals. It's going to tell you every milestone that that client is sitting in, whether they're touring homes, whether they're in escrow. And you now can manage through the home advantage application as far as what your pipeline looks like for the referrals that you've sent. And so it's pretty sophisticated uh, and it's it's all click of a button, guys. Uh, all right. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're having an awesome day. It's a it's a gloomy day out here in Ventura County. Jake, is it gloomy where you're at, too, buddy? Super gloomy and then 50 mile per hour winds overnight. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was not that was not good. Uh, Jonky, how about you? You're Great. up north. Ben. You guys, there was a tree falling, there were trees falling, not just one tree, but trees falling, uh, um, telephone poles. They were just PG wow. falling um, right here in our place here in Fremont. It's crazy wind. We've never seen seen such bad winds here. So, okay. yeah. Well, we're uh, not that good here, but we're alive. Hopefully it gets better. And let's start with talking about virtual assistance. So yes. this this one is going to be along the lines of building a virtual team and your virtual team is going to look very different depending on where you're at. So some of you are hiring for the very first time. Some of you want to add maybe one person, test them out part time just to kind of see where they fit in. And so we're going to talk to to probably all of those audiences. So depending on where you're at, you're going to get a little bit from this. For those of you wondering where you can start, we'll tell you from the very beginning. Um, Jonky has a company that that you can go to directly to to get a VA for social media admin, uh, nurturing your database, video editing. So that's that's a whole purpose of this as well. We're we're going to send you over to to Jonky, and Jake's going to put up that link. But let's start with the questions that we need to ask junkie just going back and forth based on your experience when we're sitting down and we've identified um, the person that we need Mm -hmm. so let's say the very first time i hired a video editor Mm -hmm. and i'm looking at okay you know what i'm producing a lot of content online but i wish that somebody was there to edit it up to make it look pretty or to shorten it and make it into 60 seconds and or maybe they got me they got footage of me doing a webinar whatever it was what are some of the things that you're asking so that you get better quality people well the one of the main things Tristan is that we look for people that have training and they are so I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do right we don't just provide you virtual assistant we don't just connect you to virtual staffing. We don't do that. We actually do hands-on training with the ad, with the, uh, the digital editor. So we perfect the digital editor. And, you know, I always say this to everyone, guys, just so you know, these, these virtual, these digital editors, graphic designers, social media managers are trained none other than Tristan's training team. Tristan's training team trains them. Um, and thank you so much for helping us out there, Tristan, because You know, we look for quality, right? Quality of work goes a long way than quantity. And a lot of realtors come to us and say, well, I'm looking for only 10 to 15 hours or maybe I only have one video. Well, it just depends. What are your goals in the social media world? Where do you want to go, right? And so when you come to me and say, well, I'm only looking for, you know, someone to edit one or two videos, it's not going to justify you just doing one or two videos, right, Tristan? I mean, I think it is about hiring someone 
you know, permanently or not even permanently, someone to help you build your social engagements, to help you build your social world um, in terms of engagement and all of that good stuff. So our digital editors are hands-on trained on your account. So say, Tristan, you say, you call me and you say, hey, I'm looking for a digital editor or I'm looking for a graphic designer, a social media manager, right? What I will do is I'll get to know you and your business style first. I'll ask you, there's an intake form. There's a Google form that we send you. We discuss it over the phone and then we make recommendations to you. Okay, you will need a digital editor or in my opinion, I think you'll need a digital editor and or a graphic designer or no, don't do this. Do this first and then do this. So we advise you first. Mm. Then from there, we go to the next level of having you connect with us. And then, we, you know, once you decide on a, on a virtual assistant, we go ahead and, um, you know, you interview them. At the same time, they're training the back end, right? Then we get to, um, we do the hands-on training. We do a branding guide. I mean, that's all on your accounts. That's what we do. That's the best part about it. Just to- I like that. There's a question um, and that, that's coming up here that I want to answer because they're saying, well, what, what do we usually hire for, right? And I found this uh, organizational chart. Usually we have like a solo agent that's starting off, right? Here's what it would look like. A small to medium-sized business where you have one realtor, one right. real estate agent, and then you take a look at these are the opportunities that you have right. to hire first. For me, I hired an in-person transaction coordinator first. Yes, That was my actual first hire. And then from there, it went to, believe it or not, lead gen specialist Mm -hmm. as I grew uh, and an admin, right? So it was these three right right here. Uh, If I'm looking to do this and get a virtual assistant for this, you can do that as well, Mm -hmm. right? Because right now we have that. And as you grow, I have all, all, all of these. But if you go and you're like, well, what does a bigger team look like? Then it starts looking more like this, yes, right? Absolutely. And then it gets a little scary for some people, right? That's why I start with a smaller one. Right. But this is what you you should start at least looking at to see what the possibilities are. Because right. we, we sometimes limit our thinking and saying, well, or some people are like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to grow that big. Right. But if you want a team or you want to stay a single agent, doesn't matter which route you take, you're going to need a support staff. Mm-hmm. And that's what a lot of us don't understand because I'm going to stop sharing really quick. We think that we can do it all. So at the end of the day, we lose the ability to live life because we're so focused on just one thing, which is just getting more business and then taking care of that business. Now you have transaction coordinating, returning emails, making sure you're getting more clients, keeping those clients happy, lead generation, and then going between your client, the agent, the lender. And there's a lot involved there. And this is why we need help. Yeah. And I always say, well, how big do you want to grow and how much do you want to be in control, in control of your business? You see, um, a lot of realtors don't understand that when you let go of control, phenomenal things happen in your business. Trust a virtual assistant to help you. Now, I'm not saying any ordinary virtual assistant, Tristan. I'm saying someone who's got hands-on training that is actually working on your accounts because that's what we specialize in. But very different from other virtual assistant companies. And I'm not here only to talk about virtual assistant companies. I'm I'm here to talk about what we do and how we can help you grow your business, right? So yeah. really, when people come and say to me, listen, I need to edit my videos. Tell me a little bit more about that. What does the digital editor do? They do, they take, and Tristan always talks about this, long form videos. And what, what our digital editors do is take the long form videos and do short form videos. They do shorts, they do reels, they do um, whatever you want them to do in order to get you your virtual mm-hmm. presence, social media presence. Yeah, that that let me um let me show the outline really quick and then I'll show you what they do because yeah. it's on it's on our channels. Here's what, well, first of all, here's here are the tasks and duties for video editor, executive admin, social media manager, kind of like our our go-to, right? 
Here's what we expect. This is a short summary for our video editor. Production edits, post-production changes, creating a story, telling flow, which is important, by right. the way. Right. Uh, and, and then here's what uh, Jonky was talking about, which is edits for videos for social outlets. That means shorter. Look, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. And if we go, first, let me share this one into the chat. Uh, I'm going to dump it in there. Let me get it. And Jake, let me know if that opens. I'm going to go right now to our YouTube channel so you can start seeing what this looks like. YouTube. And let me go to ours uh, and our channel. And then go to shorts. And then you can start seeing the edits of what our team does, right? These are all the edits that they do. Let me see if I can play one for you. They did a good job. They even run the ones for success. Let's uh, let's take a look at this one really quick. This is a webinar that we did. So let me turn on the audio. So they grab the webinar footage and they put the captioning, yes. they put the logos, they put everything. And sometimes they do, they piece things together like this. I just send them the video and they choose the hashtags. They choose, they actually made the graphic in the background for us too. So marketing, right? Uh, and all of these things that you see here, they're piecing together. Every once in a while, you'll see me do one. Uh, there's one that I did. Yep. Just grab the background with the green screen and I put that together. But they're doing the rest of these, right? And this is the content that they're continually putting out, both on TikTok, because let me go to TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook Reels. And by the way, Jake, now that I have you, uh, have you seen the presidents and the AI voices and them playing video games on TikTok? <laughs> I have. They're hilarious. Dude, oh my gosh. Those are, I'm I'm like addicted to these. These are, these are the best, just so you know. Anyway, that's a side note. Um, well, we haven't done that yet. So that, that's really cool, though. I, check, the, I, check this out. All right. So you can see the yeah. difference in views because you, you're not always going to get the views you want. Right. <laughs> but this one, 210. Uh, this one, I did 460. This one, I did 12,500 views. Um, this one, they did 300,000 views. Right. This is just a few days ago. And you can see every once in a while, I hit one that gets a few thousand, a few hundred thousand. Here's another one, 29,000. Uh, and then we've got one for one and a half million right here, right? This is just the last few weeks uh, of content, but I can't put up this much content unless somebody does this for me. I'm right? telling you, Tristan, I, I'm telling you, I kid you not, our virtual digital editors are amazing. Look at all this that they do. And and look, I, I you have to instruct them too, but if I look at the hashtag, I don't think I can see it here. Yeah, I can't, but uh, you can see it on the phone. If you put the hashtag for my name on TikTok, you can see how many views it has. And it has millions and millions and millions of views because one of their instructions is use, use my name as a hashtag. Mm. So that's a little bit of a hack there for you. Now, as you're looking at this, it gets a little overwhelming. And so we've been able to break it down for you. And every person that you're going to hire, whether it's in-house or not, we have an outline of the things that you should be looking for them to do, right? And so once you jump in, uh, Jonky can help you out with that. And and she can, she can kind of say, hey, look, this is what it looks like for an admin. This is what it looks like for social media manager. This is what it looks like for video. And yeah, we do train them. So that's part of what we do, Junkie. The other part of this is as you're building this out, let me go back to the sheet that I was sharing so people can also see. Uh, believe it or not, we do get a lot of people asking for an executive admin. As yes. Well. And I think the there's, there's two challenges when it comes to this. And you tell me what you think on this, Junkie. The challenge number one, is I go to you and I say, or I go somewhere and I hire somebody to be my executive admin, right? Mm -hmm. And I want them to also do some video editing. And I also want them to do some social media. And you know what? I also want them to do some TC work. And while you're at it, I also want them to, and then it gets, it's just the line keeps going. And the challenge with that is 
you're distracting them from doing the thing that they're great at. Yep. I and totally agree. you see that happen all the time, right? All the time. And so I'm just waiting for you to finish because I, I love to interrupt. <laughs> That's one. No, tell me. Go further on that one and then I'll tell you the so second. Here's the thing. Jack of all trades is good at nothing. All right, guys. So if you're hiring a virtual assistant to do digital edit, to do to be a video editor, let them focus on what they're trained to do. Yeah. Don't turn them around and do, oh, I want this, I want that. They're not going to be good at anything. And then you're going to complain to us that, hey, they couldn't do this and they didn't make this appointment and they didn't do this and they didn't make my travel arrangements. Well, of course, how much are you expecting them to do, right? Think about it, guys. You should hire someone that is a specialist. And I get this all the time. Why can I not have one person do everything? You just can't. Can you do everything? Right? Sometimes, can you do edits? Can you do lead generation? When are you going to take lunch break? Or when are you going to go show properties? Or when are you going to go on listing appointments? If you're going to do everything by yourself, think about that. So the best way to leverage yourself out is to really focus on hiring the experts who are good at what they do. And that's a digital editor, that's a graphic designer, social media manager, an admin, ISA, you know, database manager, whatever you need, hire them for their specialty and what they're trained to do. Yeah, that's and, it. And it's going to cost you, I'm not going to lie, but guess what? It's going to pay back tenfold, right? Think about this. If you leverage yourself to work on your business versus in your business, we always talk about this. You're doing everything because you're such a control freak. Guess what? When you let go of control, things happen. Tristan, when you started this business, talk. let's talk a little bit about that. We, I, I know I did everything and I didn't want to let go of control. And I'm like, oh my God, they won't do it as good as I. Mm. They won't do it as good as me, you know? But what There's happened? A- when did that change for you? There's a solution to that. And we don't talk about it. Here's a solution. And you would not think about it this way. But you say yes to everything. Say yes to everything. Try that for a year. Yes. When you're when you're lacking business. Say yes to everything. And then you're going to be so overwhelmed and broken down that one, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to get out of this business. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to find a solution to start delegating and not caring that somebody is doing the job that you were doing at 100% or you thought you were doing at 100%. Exactly. The job that you're doing at 100%, they would do at 80%. And you're okay with it because finally, finally, someone took that on and is doing it. Right. And the moment that I was drowning and I was saying, I need somebody for this, I don't care who it is, as long as I make a good hire, right? Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden I started growing and not just slowly, I started growing rapidly. And look, I'm going to show you the back end of our Canva because that's one of the things they use. So I'm just going to show you everything that's on here. Um, they work on whether it's quotes, whether it's um, what this is like a mailer. They, they create our mail. Check this out. Dang, I didn't know that was on here. Um, look, I don't even know what the hell's happening here, Junkie, but they're working on this, right? Exactly. That's the best part about it. That's the beauty of this is that things are happening. We don't even know that these things are happening, right? Yeah. This is our team building all of this out. Not only do they build those that you saw, but they also throw in. Some, <laughs> yeah, there's Mark Rader over here. And then they also do some of our quotes for our social media. And I love them. here. Uh, this is for a brilliant tribe. Right. So they they operate from this and they also do these little posts for social media on just listed, just sold. And if you've seen the organization, they created the logo for the organization with my guidance. So all of this stuff is on the back end and they're, they're functioning here. They're actually in right now because I can see them. Uh, they're in right now doing this. And right. And this is the stuff that we don't have time for, right? You 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 didn't go into real estate to become a marketer. You came to real estate to create relationships yes. and make money. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. that's why I came in, at least. And that's exactly why I came in to build relationships. I talk a lot about that when it comes to ISAs, right? Inside sales agents. We always talk about that. Everyone is craving for phone appointments, but what are you doing there? Let's build relationships first. 
instead of just setting phone appointments like crazy, build a relationship with the lead. There are two things I wanted to talk about and I totally forgot them. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, you forgot them. Okay, then I'll, I'll continue on number two. So I said, um, the, the first one was when when you're looking to hire, right? You you want them to do everything. Right. right? Like, oh, be, be, yeah, yeah, I solved my problems. No, that's number one. Number two is, it kind of has to do with that. Number one is that when you're hiring people, remember that they're people. And right. I, I witnessed this through the last, because I've had a virtual assistant, uh, like a, a, a real virtual assistant outside of the United States since 2009 on and off, because I sucked at it. Yeah, I think it was 2009. And what I've noticed over the years is that people don't treat people that are outside of your office, like people sometimes, they treat them like technology, right? And then they assign shit to them to do. And it's like, oh, you didn't do it. And there are no feelings involved and you don't treat them like human beings. That's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. And and that that's not good business. Like you want to grow your business and I'll show this and then I'll transition to you, Junkie. But you want to grow your business to be something like this. This is our virtual staff right now. This is not even all of it. We have 52 virtual assistants right now, five, two. And the way that we function is that I'm not hovering over them and wondering what they're doing. I know they they need to take breaks. Jake, you've been with me for eight years, nine years. I don't even know how long, Jake. How long have you been with me? Almost 10 years now. 10 shit. 10 years, Jake. And I don't know that I ever looked over your shoulder and be like, are you working, Jake? Are you working? No. Okay. No. And that that's allowed us to work together better because no. <clears throat> creates trust. Uh, junkie, shoot. One question. Hold on. That's okay. Go ahead. Okay. So one question, one question that comes up a lot. How do you trust them? How do you, you know, what do you set expectations? Do you set goals for them? What is the trust factor? That's number one. And number two, I people always think, realtors always think that, oh, okay, I've hired a virtual system. They should know what to do. Uh, no, <laughs> you need to have meetings with them, right? So yeah. let's, Talk a little bit about those two things, please. So I'm not that great at that part, Junkie. So I usually hire out so yeah. to keep to keep people accountable. Yes. Because just as, as great as I am, I'm not hovering over Jake. Um, also, you know, I let Jake do whatever the hell he wants too, right? And and that trust comes from from years, right? 10 right. years, right? right? At the beginning, though. It did involve us talking off and having meetings off. And he would, he, Jake, in this case, now he's virtual, but he lives 40 minutes from me, maybe less. But at some point we were working at the office. So we created that trust. Right. Um, at the beginning, when you're hiring a virtual assistant, the communication has to happen daily. And there has to be like a start of day. What does this right. look like? What, what are you working on today? Right. And. What did you end up working on today? Like an end of day report. Right. And then through that, we start creating trust because that person feels like they're purposeful. Got it. I know what I'm working on. You've laid the vision down. You're keeping me somewhat accountable so I can hit those marks that you want. Right. And then on your end, you're like, okay, things are being done. I see progress. And then you start trusting. And then you start now separating and allowing yourself to hire somebody new. Right. right. And that's exactly what our digital editors do. They edit videos. They want to be left alone, really, because they're in their creative zone at that time. You keep on asking them, hey, what are you working on? What are you working on? Don't hover over them is what I say. Give them projects to do and then ask for deadlines like, hey, can you get this done by this day? And you'll see the amazing work they do if you leave them alone. And you know, our team in the back end is always there to help them on the creative side. If they have any questions, where to go, what to do, our team is always there to help them. That's the best part about it. Let me talk a little bit about social media managers and graphic designers, right? Ooh, there's, totally. always, there's always people think that ed digital editors and graphic designers, social media managers can all be combined in one. Let me tell you why they cannot be combined in one. Number one, they are diff total different positions and one is creative, totally focused. Graphic designers are creative, no doubt and are focused, but they do postings. They look for engagements. They make comments 
on your posts, right? And obviously we do have, they're in the Philippines, but what we do have, Tristan, is a secure desktop that they can work from, mm. right? The VPN, the secure desktop, we have that. We provide that to Tristan um, to where, you know, it's not uh, people that are in the Philippines watching your videos, but people mm. that are local to you that are watching the videos. So okay. we do have that secure desktop as well. So postings, comment, commenting, likes, shares, you know, that that's something we talk about a lot. That's what a social media manager does. They have a content calendar that, you know, they get trained on um, and what is important to put on a content calendar. That's something that a digital editor doesn't really care about. They have their own content calendar to worry mm. about, right? So those are two different positions. So don't pair them up in all in one, right? They're, they're very different. Now, an admin does completely total different tasks. So I want to reiterate that, that not one person can do all of it. Number two, um, when you're looking at full-time, part-time, look at what your goal is for the year. Look at your goals and then decide what you want to do in the social world in terms of engagements, likes, posts, shares, comments um, for a social media manager and graphic designer. And then the videos, TikTok, um, you know, Instagram, wherever you want to post them. What is your goal there? And I know, Tristan, we have a great um, um, event coming up in April. Yeah. Right? Um, with Drunk on Social. That's where you guys and such amazing people are going to be there. We're going to be there, too. That's where you're going to talk more about this. Exactly. No, and that's that's why we're going to send over people uh, to the VA company. So we'll get there. So, Junkie here, we've got two minutes. If we're signing up, what should we expect? Like, what's the process like? Very simple process. Once you sign up, um, you're, you will get a chance. So there's, there's a system onboarding. For, before onboarding, you get to interview your VA. Your VA will be doing on hands-on training with Tristan's team for about 15 days right? They're working for you. They're working on your accounts, but they're, they're also working with Tristan's team. So how amazing is that? So that's the first thing. Once you interview them, they're going to be in training, working on your accounts. And then right after that, you're going to do the onboarding with them. You're going to be totally um, engaging with them, giving them information of what your expectations are from them. And that's where it all starts. But let's rewind a little bit more, Tristan. Once you say, listen, I'm interested in this. I want to talk to Junkie a little bit more. First and foremost, we get an intake form sent to you, a Google form, where we get to know you a little bit better, your business a little bit better. We take it from there. Okay. I like that. And then, uh, Jake, you put in the link there as well. Uh, good, good, good. Corey says, is there a replay of today's video? Uh, Corey, there is. And let me show you where it will be. So thank you for tuning in. Cause I know we throw out information here and there as to like, especially when we're showcasing our items, let me grab the link to our YouTube channel. So you can just go there and subscribe unless Jake beat me to it. Jake, did you beat me to it? No, you did. I beat you, Jake. I beat you. There it is. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a the link. You watch the replay and then the link above. Oh, you beat me. You <laughs> did beat me. Damn you. I just saw the link. All right. Well, sorry, Tristan, he did beat you. I'm looking at it now. It, if you go to the link above, you at least can sign up for, <laughs> for Ascent. Any questions you have, you can always reach out to me on social, yeah. reach out to Junkie. And thanks for doing this, Junkie. Appreciate you. Thank you for your time, guys. I appreciate Jake. Good to see you. Uh, good to talk to you again. And yeah. <laughs> I love it. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.